As you all know, I like to wild camp and rough camp wherever I can. Although in this situation today, it's a lovely day and I have a bit of spare change. So I'm going to be staying here in Wicker Market at the Orchard Campsite. It's only up the road, so come and have a look. Cool, so we made it to the Orchard Campsite here in Wicker Market. As you can see, there's got a fish with a bit of line out of his mouth here, which obviously means that there's some type of fish in here. In fact, there's three, no, sorry, two lakes here and a river, and the river, believe it or not, is still the River Deben. That estuary's all the way between Bordsey and Felixstowe. So let's go have a look inside. Situated five minutes from the A12, this campsite in the heart of Suffolk has lots of local attractions, including Framlim Castle, where you can learn lots of history about the area, as well as Eastern Farm Park, where you can feed the animals with your children and loved ones. So, this is my home for the night. You can see around me there's quite a big top field. This is the top one. In a minute I'll take you down to the lower field, beyond the tree line in the distance there, and I'll show you the river and ponds and things to do on this campsite. Here at the orchard, you don't necessarily have to even camp in a tent or basher. You can simply hire out a big tent house. I don't quite know what they're called, but I'm sure the owners of the place will have it on their website somewhere, which will be in the link in the description box below this video. This is one of the ponds. In fact, this is a smaller pond of the two. The other one situated just next to it it's a bit larger and there's such thing like bream, tench and even a few big carp in it. This one is more of the kiddies netting pool, or pond sorry, which is fish for tadpoles, newts and that sort of thing. So let's go down to the river now and take a look. This is a river Deben on the bottom field of the campsite. This runs all the way down to Woodbridge where it becomes a tidal saltwater estuary that goes in between Bordsey and Felixstowe, Old Felixstowe, sorry. The River Deben from here has just come from Framlingham Eastern Way. It's a lot smaller over there and it's a really nice stretch of river here. In here you'll find pike, perch, dace, roach, rudd, eels, um, even a few brown trout for the local fisheries about six or seven years ago. Had to release loads as otters kept eating all of the fish. So they thought they might as well release them into the wild to thrive rather than just getting eaten up in the fishery. It's a lovely little place to camp and fish and even if you bring a canoe down here or an inflatable dinghy with the kids, I recommend it's a good, good idea. The on-site facilities include an indoor ping pong table, children's swings, a newly renovated kitchen area, very nice toilets and even family sized showers with a children's snug area where they can relax and play and an outdoor seating area next to the camp shop which is everything from chocolate and cold beer to fishing rods and children's nets. You may even like to use the shared freezers although this can be limited at busy times of the year. With several events throughout the year including a Halloween and Alien Weekend where both the children and adults alike can partake in fancy dress competitions and discos all under a big top tent. On a few of these occasions, the owners cook a massive feast for all their guests with such dishes as chili con carne, seafood platter, paella with vegetarian options available and rumour has it they may do a hog roast in the near future. My favourite bit about this campsite is the friendly staff. They're more than willing to go out of their way to help you with the things you need and you can also have fires as long as you're responsible for them. You can buy firewood from the shop for £15 a barrow which is lovely to relax to in the evening. Alternatively, if you would like to learn more about staying at the Orchard Campsite in Wicker Market, Suffolk, in the description box below this video, you'll find a link to the website where it has pricing and everything like that. If you'd like to know more about myself and my adventures around the United Kingdom by bike, please subscribe for more on YouTube and Facebook. Till next time, stay safe and I hope you find peace.